So I want to, um, it's an old story, man, but I want to, I want to talk about it because I, I want to kind of do a, um, a, uh, channel friendly video that I can put on most of my channels that are, did it, did it draw me some attention? Um, after all, that's what a content creator does, isn't it? Uh, I want to talk about, um, Jamie Foxx. Um, I grew up, of course, um, big fan of, of Jamie Foxx, you know, when he did the, hey, word up, um, when he did Wanda on In Living Color, um, and I love Jamie Foxx, uh, I love, I love any narrative of TV from the 80s and the 90s, but I'm, I'm disappointed at Jamie Foxx. And I'm disappointed at Jamie Foxx because he, first of all, when everybody was saying that this was Puffy's doing, I, I didn't believe that. One thing um, I, I learned that if black people are, 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 are preaching it, I don't believe it. But um, so I heard about what happened from the beautiful Miss Candace Owens. And I believe that narrative when she said that this is all behind him taking the jab. And she did a very beautiful puff piece editorial on this thing when she's talked with Justin Bieber on and multiple individuals that had the very same symptoms that Jamie Foxx had. Now I'm watching a video, Ice Cube finally reveals what really happened to Jamie Foxx. And Ice Cube is saying in this video that says Ice Cube finally reveals what really happened to Jamie Foxx. And Ice Cube said, the industry got their version of the jab that they want you to take. The industry got their version. And I'm disappointed in Jamie Foxx. And I'm disappointed in Jamie Foxx because Ice Cube um, was about to do a movie as well. And Ice Cube said, nope, not interested in taking the jet. Well, you can't get the part. Ice Cube said, cool. And Jamie Foxx, who a person that didn't have the jet, uh, took the movie role and brought into the narrative of getting the jet and almost died. And, you know, maybe I am a, maybe I'm a hypocrite. Maybe I am a person that is so self-sufficient. I didn't have to take it. I didn't take it. I didn't take it and didn't, um, under no, nobody's rule, I had to take it. But to stand on something um, that happened in the end of 2022, 2023, let me, let me see something. Let me find out. I think it was the end of 2020. When did Jamie Foxx become hospitalized? According to CBS News, Jamie Foxx okay. shared a video on Instagram where he made emotional comments about his hospitalization earlier this year. The okay. So, yeah, that, that makes it more prevalent. He, th this thing is over. Um, and despite the little bits and pockets and here and there where it's still going on, I am shocked um, that Jamie Foxx, after all this time felt as though I'm going to go ahead and take the jab. And here's something that is real suspicious. Uh, Cameron Diaz, a woman that hadn't done a movie in so long, says she'd given up on Hollywood. Um, you know, she didn't, she didn't speak to Jamie Foxx. It was kind of like they, you, if you think about what they're saying, they kind of used an old friend that bait her Jamie Foxx into coming and taking it and and uh of course almost bring him, him to his demise. But I just don't understand, nor will I ever understand. Um, and I'm glad 
I'm going to be clear. The reason why I don't understand is because I'm so I'm so self-sufficient in life. I don't have to take the jab. But I am I am so disappointed in Jamie Foxx. Um, I love the dude. And once again, I am so disappointed in a man that felt as though he had to listen to um, and take this horrible jab uh, in order to get a movie role. And like Ice Cube said, um, you mean to tell me every producer in Hollywood has this mandate? Ice Cube said, that's impossible. So he did not take the jab and he didn't get this specific movie role. But Jamie Foxx takes it and almost kills himself. Get himself killed. Mm. Like, share, and subscribe.